good Tuesday morning. So there's uh, sometimes scholarly arguments that, uh, that circle around that I read uh, lots of books and lots of articles. And uh, folks are often thinking about, did Jesus really think of himself as the Son of God? Did he really have a self-awareness? Uh, well, uh, as very conservative Lutheran Christians, we would say, yeah, absolutely. Not only did Jesus know or was Jesus aware, Jesus came to proclaim that he is God in the flesh. And one of the one of the telling ways that we know that is the way Jesus talked. Uh, Jesus said in John 14, 15, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Uh, and then if you go back to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 11, it, Moses says to the people of Israel, uh, You shall therefore love the Lord your God and keep his charge, his statutes, his judgments, his commandments all your days. Uh, so Jesus' statement certainly seems to parallel what the Lord God had instructed Moses to tell the people. Uh, to love and to keep is reiterated throughout the book of Deuteronomy. It's just side by side in so many places. Uh, might not always come through an English translation, but the same Hebrew words are used throughout for love and keep, love and keep, love and keep. And keep means to guard and protect something as holy and valuable. It, uh, obedience flows out of keeping. So the word uh, obey and the word keep are not the same meaning. Uh, the, the word keep is a, it's a valuing word. It's a, it's a word that pertains to assigning worth and value to something. And so Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep, you will value, you will cherish what I tell you. You will cherish my commandments. Uh, and if you look in the Old Testament, it says that if you love the Lord your God, you will keep his commandments. Certainly Jesus paralleled his authority with that of the Lord God. Uh, why is that important? an important devotional thought for us today? Uh, simply because it says in Deuteronomy, and this is the Lord's instruction to his people, uh, place these words of mine on your heart and on your soul and bind them as a sign on your hands. Put them between your eyes like a phylactery. So just as we are to do with the law of God, we are to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ that talks about the forgiveness of our sins. Let us, let us bind them on our hearts and on our souls.